Hi, Russ Miller, off-grid creationist here, and I'm just summarizing our our snow sled. It's a pretty handy piece of equipment to have in the wintertime when you live off-grid in snow country. We uh, found that out our first winter here. The first snow was predicted to be three inches deep. Well, we woke up the next morning, it was actually three feet deep. We had all our vehicles parked here at the cabin, and they don't plow out this way. They plow uh, across the top road around the canyon and actually down to the bottom of the main road which is three quarters of a mile from here but we had uh, three feet of snow on the road between us and where they plowed so we actually didn't couldn't get out for about 12 days which was fine we just hung out and uh, enjoyed the cabin and cabin life for a while because well we didn't have much other choice but um, right now I winterize it by uh, putting gas, fresh gas, about a gallon every two, three months with stabilizer in it. Uh, because unless you really like rebuilding carburetors, which I do not, you need to keep fresh gas in there. And I come out and I run it for about five to 10 minutes once a month as well. But that's not what I wanted to talk about. Darwinists claim that similar biochemistry is proof of goo to the zoo to you evolution. I say that we all have the same evidence and similar biochemistry is much better supporting evidence that we all have the same similar designer. Take for example, your, uh, your biochemistry is over 90% the same as that from a mouse. <laughs> your biochemistry is more than 70% the same as that from some worms. In fact, your biochemistry is 50% the same as that from a banana. Did you evolve from a banana? Of course not. Now, last time I spoke at a college, I asked that same question. 500 students raised their hand and they were serious because they've been taught we've all evolved from a common ancestor, which would mean you're related to bananas. Well, I gotta tell you, I got home that night and I got online and looked at my family tree. There wasn't a banana in the whole bunch. <laughs> and if you didn't find that very appealing, I don't find goo to the zoo evolution very appealing as well. My thought is similarities are proof of a similar biblical designer and you can put your trust in the Word of God word for word and cover to cover and that's what I wanted to talk about. Hi, I'm the off-grid creationist Russ Miller. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope that you like it. Hey, if you did, uh, please uh, subscribe to us and share it with others. Uh, visit our website or uh, join us as a partner and support our efforts through the button below. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you again soon with our next video.